Hey Caster, so the quick tip for today is creating overlays in Stream Elements. First, go to create new overlay. Uh, you can name it, maybe like, it's my overlay team. Here, overlay editor. Here you have the top, the hype cup, uh, the now playing. This only works if you're using the media request feature in OBS Live or ground control. Um, media request is the feature you want to have added if you want YouTube videos to be shown on stream. Hype boss will lose health if uh, you get follows, hosts, cheers, subscribers, tips. Alert box is the basic most important feature that you're going to be using. So make sure that the, the box is as large as you need it. Alright, so if you want to make sure you're doing it perfectly, so you go 1920 by 1080 or whatever your resolution is for your thingy. Uh, you can verify that in OBS, making sure that you have you know your exact resolution fit there. You can choose all your different alerts, so you have your follow, and then just to customize it a little bit, so this is where you change your image, or if you want to actually make it a video. Uh, this is what you'll use if you're using a GIF. Um, so, uh, you know, if you're using a an animated ping, a JPEG, anything like that. Uh, also, WebM is generally the file type that I use. Just make sure that whatever you have, if you're going to have it animated, set video. If you just want it to be a basic still image, um, you can have it be here. I know it says a lot of the same options, but trust me, this is a... Uh, yeah, I mean, you're basically looking at like pings or JPEGs or whatever. It won't allow um, anything animated for images. When you upload a sound, uh, I recommend having your OBS open so that you can, you know, make sure that the volume here is set to something where it's like it comes through at most in the yellow, not in the red on your, uh, your mixer. For the layout, uh, let's do a quick test here. You can see the differences. See, so this, the text is at the top, the image is here at the bottom, on the side, and the text is below. Uh, you can... You can change the message that you have here, like, Thank you for following with less than three. And then when you do the test, um, don't forget to save, do the test. Thank you for following less than three. Put it on the right, do it on top. There you go. The alert duration, it literally means how long will it be on screen. Uh, there, go to the animation settings to see. Uh, so you can have it fade in down. That's how it comes from up here and then comes onto screen. If you just want it to fade in, duration one second, if we have it last like say three seconds, just for the point of example, and then say flip out, and that lasts like say two seconds. Um, the text animation, you know, so you can actually have it do something differently, and then it can uh, make it flip out the other way. Flip out. Why? So, um, make them about the same so they come in the same same way um, if you want the text and everything to come in like way after and disappear way before this is the offset so the text can disappear like three three point two seconds before the image disappears and the appearance delay if you have it you know so it, the delay is two seconds so let's say the image, the whole entire alert is eight seconds. The text would only appear for about, you know, three seconds here. Just to show you what I mean. Okay, so the image shows up, then the text bounces in, then the text fades out, and then this bounces out. So that's what the offsets and the delays do for you. Pretty cool, very nifty if you want to customize all of your stuff. Um, so yeah, again, just make sure you test your volume, put it here, 
emulate it, and then look at your mixer and see how loud it is. Does it hit the yellow? Does it hit the red? That's the only thing you want to make sure of. If it's kind of low in the green, but you notice that your voice is very loud, you know, like it's yellow or red, then people aren't really going to be able to hear the alert volumes and necessarily the, the, the volume that you're hoping for. Um, Text-to-speech on follows, that's not really a thing. Nobody can follow with a message, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, variations, so if you, this is only if you want to have several different uh, follower notifications that'll show up that you'll pick at random. So just be like, pretend second follower thing. So what are the chances, you know, that this is going to show up? So 50% chance. We'll change the image. We're going to use one of mine, the hot stuff. Okay, so uh, this will be our variation, the Carolina Reaper. It'll have a chance of popping up with the text coming up below it. And then it'll say like, following hot stuff. Uh, and then so you can keep the same settings as your basic or you can change them as necessary. Don't forget about your texts. If you have a specific theme for your stream and save the variation. So we're going to add in some more variations, so thank you for the follow, dog. So just make sure you set the percentages correctly, you know, what are the chances that you want something to be there. Uh, you can set one to say 75%, make sure that it's there most of the time, and then something else as, you know, 50% so that it Think of it more of a weight instead of equaling 100%. And yeah, that's all of us. So, um, subscriber, alert, cheers, all this is going to depend on if your channel has these available. Uh, you know, if you want to have different subscribers, uh, variations are, they're a lot more important on this one. Because you have gifts. You have, you know, a certain amount of gifts. You know, if somebody donates 50 gifts of the subs, do you want to have the same alert as if somebody does one? Um, do you just want to have it repeat, you know, 50 times? Or do you want to have one big one that's like, oh my gosh? And then do you want to have a variation? Let's walk through it really quick. So subscription tier, you know, uh, month subscribed. You can uh, set, let's say they're at least three months and at this point so there's a hundred percent chance for this to show up just subbed for three months so customize it so that your viewers get all of the effects that they're looking for you know so um kind of a big deal all right and that's it for subs each one of these has a lot of different variations do go through and check them out Cheers are much in the same way of subs, you know, so if somebody does a one bit, you know, uh, that's quite common. You'll probably want to do a little more variation than this, depending on the size of your channel. So one bit is one, 25 bits might be another one, 50 bits would be whatever. And then, um, yeah, cater to your audience. Like, what is likely to be a big cheer on your channel? Make that one your super awesome alert. If you don't get you know, 10,000 bits often, maybe you'll want to consider your big, big alert to be something more like a thousand. All right, so variations on bits are done the exact same way as all of the other alerts, but just make sure you do cater to your audience on all of this. Posts have variations. Raids have variations. Show your audience some love. You know, the bigger the support, the maybe the cooler the GIF and the more awesome the sound music. Like, people really like the cups. I mean, if you check this out, you can probably understand why. So, with this little box, uh, we're doing Easter. I guess we're celebrating some Easter. Uh, but what's fun is if you look at this, so say you have a follower, and all of a sudden your little icon comes in and fills the egg. You know, so you get the follow, plus something drops into your little, your cup, your hype cup. People love seeing that. If you, you know, you have a computer 
that can handle this, I strongly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. As far as like recent events, so how many events fill up the cup, this will actually determine like the size of the icons. So let's say somebody does like a big tip. See the big tip gets a big icon, so it'll fill it up. It will take generally less than 50, but uh, let's say we just have like a follower. How tiny that is. So cute. It should take right around, you know, 50 events some odd to fill this cup up. And then you can have some sort of special thing happen. Like you get up and do a jig. And then after that you reset the cup. Okay. Um, so if you want to show event messages, you know, you can have that happen too. So, see, Brooks hosted the stream with 19 viewers. So it follows along and then the icon drops in. This goes across the screen. Really fun. Although also redundant. Um, if you want a different cup, like let's say you're not that into eggs and bunnies and stuff, you can select a different one. Have you selected as custom bit designs? Would you like to overwrite the current bits? Now, this is obviously up to you. Do you want it to be thematic? Or do you not really care? Personally, I think it's fun. Okay, so now that we have the jaws, once it's loaded, because this is going to be a 3D image, so stuff moves. Takes time to load. Okay, so this part's kind of important. Like, if you don't want the cup to be right there at the, the left of your screen, it doesn't fit your UI, scroll down on Edit Cup. You know, just have this, boom, change cup. And then scroll down, you can move around the position, up, down. <laughs> okay, and grab, uh, enable gravity and physics on the cup. You want to take that off if you want the cup somewhere else. Put that on, you may tip over when heavy tokens hit. The cup will always fit, fall to the bottom of the widget. So however big your widget is, this is where, uh, you know, size matters. <laughs> If you don't want the cup to be 100% visible, like you just want it to be there but not really cover up any overlay, you can change the opacity. If you need the cup bigger because, well, it's not big enough, Kappa, uh, you can <laughs> hurry and set that up. Or personally, if you just want it something it's there, it's awesome, it's cool, taking up a little bit of space so that people can see it. Okay, so you can select all the different things that will fill up your cup. You know, if you're saying like, ah, you know, raids, hosts, they support my channel, but I don't really want them to fall into the cup. So go ahead, do that. Okay, so these settings here, they are something that, you know, you might need to come into midstream. If you're using OBS Live, you can clear the cup right from your overlay. If you want to make a custom uh, cup yourself, so change to a cup uh, shape that you like. So let's say we're going to use this cup here. You see the... Uh, where the image looks right now. So the only thing you have to turn on is the wireframe. When you go into Photoshop, you can copy this little image over to Photoshop, and that way when you change this image, just make sure it follows along the same wireframe so that it looks right. Store redemptions are something that I really like to have on my stream. So this is one of those things, as soon as somebody redeems an item out of your store, it will show up on stream. You can select you know, your different sizes here, so it's not taking up your entire screen. Item redemption. <laughs> so now it's just a small portion of the top of your screen, uh, rather than that, that. But whatever customization works for you, for your overlay. Uh, there are no variations for store redemption, just because this is a default image, they added in there for the fun of it. As long as you put a proper image for your store items, it will show the image for that item, not this. Don't worry about that. That thing's stupid. I mean, it's fun, but it's stupid. But, I mean, come on, you're not really gifting stuff out, are you? If you need chat on your screen, this is another thing it's important for you so if you put a different theme it's going to give it a background I don't like backgrounds myself so just do a custom show messages permanently or if you want them to fade after a certain amount of time like it's just kind of cluttered up there if you 
don't have an overlay uh, that supports a chat box section and you just have words popping up there, I strongly recommend you have messages fade after a certain amount of time. Messages are delayed, meaning you will see them in your stream chat how long before they will pop onto your stream. So leave that delay at zero if you're you know, not too worried about trolls. Otherwise, if you want time to time people out before it shows up on the video, give yourself a little bit of time just so you can make sure that that message does not make it. If you do not want your bot's messages to show up on your video, add that bot right here and it'll be completely ignored in this overlay. Alright, so those are going to be the basic widgets that I'll go over in this video. If you need any more help with those, let me know in the comments. But the next awesome feature that you can do in Stream Elements is import widgets. So I strongly recommend you join the Stream Elements Discord. And if you're looking for custom widgets, in this uh, widget share section you can find a ton of them. One of my favorites is this chat poll. You just click on it and it will implement it into your Stream Elements overlays. Okay, if you want this overlay implemented into this one, Click on the Overlay Editor button, choose the custom widget, and then hit on the duplicate widget. Click on other overlays, go to this is my overlay, and away it goes. Now you can come back over here, edit this overlay. Now you have your custom widget, which is your pole. You have your stream pole. You can size it so that it goes exactly over your stream chat chat poll and there you go you have a chat poll that goes directly over your stream chat or you can move it wherever you want and that way when it's activated it'll show up on stream super cool word. well and I guess since I have you guys here I'll teach you a little bit more about setting up the chat poll so with this overlay you know you can set it up however you want um, colors you can change those however you need to this is specifically for the the voting so how do you want your viewers to be able to vote to type in the text or number or do they have to type in the command with the text or number so exclamation point vote yes vote, vote no vote one two commands for you are start poll what do you want the command to be to start the poll what do you want the command to be to end the poll to add a word these are your different options so you type exclamation point add yes exclamation point add no or you know if you're talking about your favorite TV shows exclamation point add space psych burn notice whatever it is and you have to type this for every single option there's no real quick way that I know so the survey fade out option is specific for when you type end poll how long until you want the poll to vanish who can manage the poll so, is it just you, or can your mods do polls too? You can participate, not only, everybody, this is all up to you. This is something that will be specific to you. If you don't want viewers to be swayed by what other people are voting, you know, make sure you only do it when the poll is uh, closed. But, if you want the scores to be live, where it's like, you know, somebody votes yes, it'll instantly say, you know, yes has one vote, two votes, burn notice has 50 votes. Um, except only the first vote per user yes or no like should they be able to vote differently than their first choice and that's it guys that's how you do chat polls that's how you do all the widgets and isn't stream elements great thank you for watching hopefully it was helpful if you did like it you know do the like subscribe all that's good stuff all right much love everybody